Welcome back to the 2003 Winston Cup Series in NASCAR Racing 2003 and last time out I drove quite well but I did get a massive helping hand from some dunce strategy calls by my opponents. But you know what they say, work smarter not harder. We now have three race wins on three different circuit types and the only one missing is a super speedway. And where do we happen to be today? Also, separate stat for you, my first two race wins came back to back on two different circuit types. See where I'm going with this? I'm not saying it's written in the stars, you know, that I'm going to win today, um, but I do like what the stats are saying. I know you can make stats say pretty much whatever you want, but I made it say a good thing. Today it's our first repeat venue of the season and we're back at the historic Daytona International Speedway. This second event at the Daytona Beach facility was first held in 1959 and traditionally took place on or around the 4th of July until 2020 when it was moved to late August. This event was also the first ever stock car race at Daytona to be held at night in 1998. Now I've got to hold my hands up, I made a bit of a boo-boo. Uh, Corvin had made me a special summer livery to run at Sonoma and Daytona and I forgot to run it last time out. What I'm going to do is run that livery next time at Chicagoland because the special livery you're seeing now is another one he's made to commemorate the fact that this race is taking place on the 4th of July weekend. It is simply entitled Murica and Corvin as ever we thank you for your distinguished service. Being back on a super speedway means getting in the toe, getting in the slipstream, being tactical about your positioning is very important. Uh, and despite doing that in practice, I am just over a second off the pace, which on an oval, on a super speedway, is cavernous, slowest of the wall, even slipstreaming in a pack. And as soon as I get out of the pack, I just feel like I've got no power. If I'm side by side with another car, they, they just they just drive past me. And I've tweaked the setup a lot, I feel like I've learned a lot about setup. Uh, it's not working. I managed 18th in practice back at the Daytona 500, but then somehow managed pole. Um, I don't think that's going to happen again today, but I am holding out hope that I will, will just, with a qualifying setup, not be last. So I'm going to say top half as the target. I would just like to quickly shout out Steve Park, uh, who, now driving the number 30 AOL Chevy, got pole for this event, while the driver that he swapped with, or was forced to swap with, it's a bit of a weird situation, uh, Jeff Green, driving the number one Pennzoil Chevy, only managed 34th. I mean, I know that's very biased, because I've literally only compared... I've just given you this one result in isolation. I've actually not checked the trend <laughs> between how they were getting on. I've not seen Jeff Green in the top five of any results, qualifying results, or race results for that matter, but Stevie Fee's there, you know, good for him. Doing a damn sight better than I probably will. Okay, here comes your first time lap. God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a beautiful dusk at Daytona, but that's, um... Slightly irritating. One more lap. Ugh. Two laps of foot to the floor. Be as gentle as you can on the steering wheel. Put 
put it in the right line so you're not making any big corrections and screwing off speed. I felt like I did okay at that. Yet still, well done to Elliot Sadler on pole from Jeff Gordon. Gordon looking good for the title. He's been very consistent. Harvick ahead of Park. Corvin punching the air <laughs> as we speak. Yeah, 30 second. Better, better than being all the way off the back. But what's the gap between pole? I suppose it's a very tight field spread, isn't it? Only about half a second off. Now, I mentioned at a previous super speedway race that people are always wondering when the big one's going to happen. The almost inevitable multi-car car... Multi-car pile-up? Multi-car pile-up that happens at super speedway races. And for the 2003 Pepsi 400, they'd be waiting quite a while, almost halfway into the race. It was lap 75 of 160, seven car accident in turn two. But what's interesting about that is before that, there'd only been one very short caution, which was caused by, as luck would have it, a lone spinner, the man ahead of us, Dave Blaney. And after the big one, there were no more cautions. 2003 Pepsi 400 has one of the longest green flag runs. 81 laps and as a result that meant the focus at the end of the race was fuel management and the person who managed to feel the best was a rookie who'd started the day in 30th Greg Biffle came home to win his first ever Cup Series race as for my race I don't fancy my chances for example I know I've been sat tucked in behind Dave while we've chatted but I'm now trying to actively overtake him and even in the slipstream I've, I've just got nothing oh god Kyle Petty there making it interesting and as you can see my I, I've got water pressure issues the thing is now I'm the one punching the hole through the air I'm about to be swallowed up by all those cars behind me. I don't know what to do with the setup to change it, so I'm gonna have to just live with it and just try and be clever and see if I can stick with people all the way through. I've just got into the top 20 of the standings. I would like to stay there, so I'm gonna try and aim for the top 20 today. was last in happy hour two. Six tenths off the pace. So I'm just going to have to see if I can work my way through the pack in the first phase. We're going to stop probably around lap 16 to 18 maybe. Might be a bit sooner. Might be the halfway point. I'm just going to have to hope that when I come out of the pits there's someone else that I can glob on to because alone I'm going to be a sitting duck. Get ready now. Going green. Get cars in. Green flag, green flag. Green, green, green.
Ugh. Let's not make it go three wide. Ah, the outside line doesn't move very quick. That's speaking about Daytona. I'm not making a general... Well, to be fair, it's quite accurate for the... Never mind. We'll try and squeeze in. the gap. I don't want McMurray to push in. Oh, McMurray. Actually let him push in because I feel like I've now lost the toe of John Andretti. just moments when my foot is to the floor and unless I am tucked up under someone's rear wing like this I just feel like I've got no power there is Jeff Green to the right of us obviously in real life that would be Steve Park had we done the driver swap I feel like I'm going to have to risk putting some some more tape on. To be fair, it is cloudy. Oh, but look at... Oh, God. Left rear is... It's, not, it's fine on wear, but temperatures... far of course but need something need something oh no they just seem to lurch forward and it just allows the space for someone to drop down every time I'm just not going forward Biffle changes lanes. Come on, stay with us. See, as soon as I get out of the slipstream, I'm just in the wrong direction. Tape is the answer. Got to go for it. Part of me wonders if I put more on <laughs> and really risk it. Go up to 70%. I don't know why it says clear outside at any point. I don't feel like I'm ever clear outside as we are running in three lanes by the looks of it. Thanks. Oh, Mickey Whipples, why?
might just change the insides as well when I'm going to get a chance to do that probably on pit entry because there's not a moment to do anything at this point changing lanes John's going to try and push in go on if you go in John no, don't slow down immediately in front of me though yeah see we're all very tightly packed I'm going to have to be really careful when someone decides to go into the pits because they might drop in in an inconvenient manner. No, 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 God, why? As soon as I see Dale Jarrett, <laughs> the things start to go a bit loose. Don't want anything from Brown today, thanks, please. Okay. Now knowing that this is the window, I'm thinking of going in on the next lap because I don't want to be out on my own for a lap very slow yes it means going in a busy pit lane right sides only one can of fuel bit of grill tape Please, no one hit me in the back. Please, no one immediately slow ahead of me. Also, don't spin on entry. Keep it under 55. There's my pit, guys. Don't overshoot. Okay, got to watch out, though. Obviously, lots of cars coming in. Limit 55. Keep it under 4,000 in seconds. That's not speed. That's not speed. God. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 4,000 in seconds. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Okay, we have come out at least with some cars. And this is exactly what I wanted. God, I'm being picked up by the tow. Let's hope that our extra tape is not going to become <laughs> an engine management problem. Because actually, towards the end of the run, it was okay. It's Kyle Petty looks the charge around the outside. I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to hold my line on the inside. No way. Come on, careful. We're actually up with the leaders. With seven to go. Which means... Okay, I need to just hold my position and then think about timing. Because I don't want to go into the lead now. Not particularly. Because then I will get swallowed up. So I need... 
to pick my moment. Oh, shit. Okay. I might have to periodically... <laughs> dip out of the slipstream. Oh, no. The tape might have been a mistake. Let's get out of the slipstream. It's still okay for now. As long as that needle doesn't creep up loads higher, it might survive. Kind of like it did... Pipkinu Up the inside of Kevin Harvick Mainly to get into some clear air God, Michael Waltrip was looking to the inside then I need to th I'm not in a vacuum up here I need to think Defensively as well as offensively. Clear. I'm staying to the inside. I'm not losing my inside line. Even if it means I'm out of the slipstream. But with the extra tape, I'm actually not horrific in a straight line out of slipstream now. is a huge opportunity. Oh, come. Not Kevin. Mike, he's all going there. Stay to stay to the inside. The exit of turn four. I'm staying defensive in every corner entry. The question is, am I going to... Because I'm now... Uh, now am I going to struggle? Or am I going to have to take a risk and, and tuck in? Because I'm not close enough to really make any moves. <sighs> oh, shit. Human's gone. I've not had the call, though. I'll actually, I'm in the, a great position to make a move. I just don't think I'm going to be able to. Although, we've got a, oh God, we've got a slow car up ahead at the worst possible time. I'm about to get trapped behind Jimmy Johnson. Shit, that happened at the worst time. Lost some speed. Right in these guys' slipstream. Sorry, Ryan. You're gonna have to move. To m moved. It's not a word. We go to the inside. Try and just get a bit of slipstream off Kyle Petty. Into three. Nose up the inside. We're ahead. Stay to the inside so they don't have any chance. Oh, they've got the run, but I'm going to block. I cannot believe it.
Oh, that's really sad. Why? <laughs> Why am I bothered? <laughs> Why? I don't know why I'm bothered. Oh my god. Now in all the the nonsense of the like me wondering about why they all stopped in Sonoma, I never did a burnout. And I've got a blown tire and I've just battered up my Muraka car, but I'm not forgetting about it this time. <sighs> We've won at Daytona. Every single circuit type. I don't think I've got enough power to do it. Come on, spin. Do something. Here we go. Every single circuit type. We've won at every one. That was one of the objectives of the season. That and try and finish in the top ten of the standings. Martinsville. Fontana. Sonoma and Daytona. Aruba. Jamaica. <laughs> I, I genuinely cannot believe it by 0.07 of a second we win the Pepsi 400 at Daytona we are a super speedway winner Murica has powered us to the victory Tony Reigns <laughs> that was not the person I was expecting to be racing to the line but damn Gordon not in the top 10, but Ryan Newman is, and that means the gap is down to 12 points. It's on. Dale Earnhardt Jr. also cutting the gap to 155, but as we saw, Jimmy Johnson had problems of some kind, so he's not been able to capitalise. He falls a little bit further away. As for us, we move to a season-high 18th. We are level on points with Bobby Labonte, but I assume we are ahead because we've won more races. Uh, just the four to his zero and it's <laughs> it's quite remarkable we've won more races than anyone else but i think the key thing is dnfs here we're in the top there we've had three dnfs and we've had a lot less top fives and top tens it's consistency that rewards you and I, I, I genuinely wasn't expecting to react like that as well probably because i wasn't expecting to win just easily the race of the season I, don't, I actually don't know if it'll be beaten, but wow. Sure, it's good that I've won a race on every different type of circuit now, but that almost seems like I've got a block on being able to win again on the same type of circuit. And I've said multiple times our speedways, these 1.5 mile, 2 mile speedways, I'm good at these. I think I'll do well. Keep absolutely messing it up. So I'm hoping we could maybe get somewhere at Chicago land where we'll be running another special livery. And we're going to leave it there. Thank you so, so much for watching. I, I'm just, I'm genuinely at a loss for what's just happened. It clearly meant something. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you very soon.